Hello and welcome today. We're going to take a look at Tempest Citadel. This is a uh, game developed by Arcform Games, set to come out here in just a few days on Steam on April 17th. Uh, they have sent me an early key to let us check it out, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, this game is a, uh, it's a sci-fi strategy game with uh, like a base building slash co uh, squad tactics sort of approach. Um, story goes, we are, uh, we've been sent to this planet. Uh, there's, there's a lot to the story. I'll, I'll sum up very simply. We've been sent to a planet under a false mission. Uh, and we, uh, now we're sort of been left here to fend for ourselves. We've got some angry aliens down there. So we are basically invading this planet and trying to kill aliens and, and build a base. That's, that sums it up for you. Let's jump into the thing and try this one out. So we're gonna go with normal difficulty. And, um, I'm gonna, no, we'll just, we'll just skip the tutorial. I've played a little bit of it, so I kind of know what's going on. Um, we can, uh, watch a little bit of this. There's a lot of wordy text. I'm gonna skip most of that, because I just summed up everything that's happened here. We're on, we're on a, um, a colonization mission. However, it's not really a colonization mission. Something has happened, and we're not where we're supposed to be, and the computer's waking us up because of that. And we're about to find out that, uh, we were actually sent... To this planet to try to retrieve some technology, basically. Uh, yeah, I'm Captain. That's me. Thank you, Captain. Well, you're welcome, uh, Aya. Sparks. Uh, enter the planet's atmosphere in 30 minutes. Gotcha. Let's enter the atmosphere. Now, our true mission, this is where we're going to find out. Oh, by the way, you're not actually there to colonize. You're actually there to go and um, go to Indra. Learn about its civilization, study their technology, absorb their wisdom, and return home with the only thing that can keep us going. Our planet's falling apart. You know, that sort of a thing. Um, yeah. Sure. Works for me. Unlock some uh, encrypted files in the mainframe. Okay, yep. Yeah, gotcha. Cool. Uh, we, uh, there's, there's supposed to be a hundred of us on board. Because this is a colonization mission, right? Um, yeah, we're outraged. We're furious, Aya. However, we'll see all of our people here. We're going to have soldiers, we're going to have engineers, we're going to have medics. And the wind sound really sounds like someone is just breathing into a microphone. <laughs> okay. We flew all this way, and then a lightning bolt takes us down. There we are, in an unknown jungle, on an unknown world. Do not go gentle into that night, says uh, Sparks. I realize you have so many questions, but this is not the time. The damage to our ship has rendered us unable to fly, and we are in danger. My sense has shown multiple life forms of considerable size and number closing in our location, likely drawn by the commotion of the crash. Their movements suggest feral wildlife. I do not need to say what the harshness of the environment would suggest of their disposition. Scan show the damage is serious. Repairs will take time. Unfortunately, our cryo systems remain fully functional. We can immediately revive a small crew for the operation. We must act quickly. Who should we revive first? Well... We got Salsa, we got Slapshot, with a name like Salsa, I gotta bring you on. So the four red are our soldiers. They all have different skills and, and, and uh, different names uh, and abilities. We have Bond over here, Bond and Highway are our scavengers. We got Wizard and Garbage <laughs> as our engineers. We have Wingnut and Wedge are both our researchers. And we have Lucky and Sniper as our medics. No, I would rather have Lucky as my doctor, not Sniper. Uh, so we're going to bring bring along Salsa, Slapshot, Neophyte, and Quickdraw. They will wake all of the, these four up. Um, we're going to bring in... Well, we got to bring Wizard. Guy's name's... And we got to bring Garbage. We want two Engineers. Do I need a Scavenger? I don't know that I do right now, but we'll bring in... Uh, we'll bring in Bond. Sure. Bring that guy in. Are you a guy? Bring that girl in. And then Wizard. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wake up, everybody. Wakey, wakey. Creatures threaten our landing site. Deploy a squad to defend the ship. I already did that. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, put them into the... Here's my crew. I gotta put them into a... Um, into the mission slot. So we gotta put them into a squad. Active squad. So Salsa, Slapshot, Neophyte, Quick Draw, Bond, and Wizard are gonna go into... Slide. They all have pistols in their hands. We're good to go. We can kill some bugs. And let's do some ground combat. Alright. The Terran. That's us. Versus the Creatures. Those are the bad guys. Okay, so this is where the tactical combat comes into play. So we've got the one squad here. If you want to separate these folks, like we can put, like Bond, What's we'll lead uh, mission Reporting. wizard and quick draw. We're gonna throw those into a separate 
combat squad here, because we can select all kinds of different things. We've got styles going to be, uh, I think balance is fine. We can go with an attack, go with the, just a, a balanced attack. Actually, you know what? A focused attack. What's that do for me? Favor precise weapons, and especially aimed weapons that grant critical hits. Sure, whatever. Uh, target priority. We want to target the closest things, and we want to stand in a um, in a circle. Okay, and then this squad down here, same thing. Cautious. I want you guys to be balanced. Well, cautious instead of instead of balanced. And I want you to be focus on the the wounded ones. Focus fire here, and uh, and it's still ragged. Ragged's good. Okay, so we've got us. I got a craft ship. Craft ship over here. We have a bunch of aliens, bugs, alien bugs hanging around, and um, now we can manually tell these guys what to do. We could say Ready, Alpha Team, Copy that. go stand over there. We don't have to though. We can just play the thing and just let them do what they want to do, and they will do what they want to do. They're gonna they're gonna stand in here. We've got I don't know what, where she's going. Ready. Who is that? Quick draw. What are you doing? And so yeah, sometimes they do stupid things, but sometimes they they actually do what they're supposed to do. Oh yeah, stay over here. Kill those bugs. Murder some bugs. Okay, taken out and got him. Success. Our soldiers have defeated the alien creatures and protected the ship. Excellent, says Duster. A new wave of hostiles have been detected, Captain. Not creatures, humanoids with advanced equipment. They are launching a barrage of some kind of sleep gas. Our engineers don't stand a chance. Story mission time. Those jerks. Senior production officer Malcolm Hawcroft. Hulk, Call sign Hammer reporting in. Captain, might remember me as the old guy who put you under the table at a drinking contest night before... Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, operation was success. Our soldiers drove the herd away long enough for my guys to fix the ship. Well, be airborne again in a few. So he's fixed our ship. Thanks, buddy. In El Canyon Suites, though, a group who attacked us didn't kill any of our engineers, but they did make off with a piece of our terraform engine. Bonehawk's tracking them down. Don't worry. She'll find them. The animals out there, they were something else, too, huh? Makes our lions back home look like kittens. Something tells me the welcome party was just a light, like the was just lightweights in the family. We're gonna need to keep our soldiers out of out of cryostasis. Just my suggestion: the team's got enough to keep the ship together, but you also need to start bringing up other folks soon. Medics, researchers, takes a village, boss, and you're the chief. Thanks, mustache. All right, let's get out of here. So the ship is working. Yes, somebody is definitely going. <laughs> so we're gonna fly into the clouds. And get out with our ship. It's it's flying. It it it's not completely working, but it's doing something. All right, there's Bonehawk at our service. Hey hey Bonehawk. Uh, because life's never without. Our, yeah okay. Locations of the tribesmen who stole our terraform drive. The fact that they've managed to travel as far as they did in this kind of hostile terrain tells me they aren't simply resilient. They know this land and they yeah this is their home. Right now they're still on the move. They haven't made it back to their home base. It seems like. But that's likely to change. If we don't act now, we may lose the terraform drive for good, and our mission will be lost. You can leave the scouting to me and the ship sensors. They will only need combatants for the dispatch team. They'll have to move fast. Should we send? Uh, send everybody into the planet. So here is our world map. We'll eventually explore this entire planet. Uh, at the moment, we are just going to start off with this mission right here, the chicken heads. And uh, yeah, we want to go there. Ground combat. Us versus the Volgar. Chicken people. Okay, again, same sort of thing. We can set up a different thing. Ready, I want you guys to go more uh, balanced, actually. And uh, just, how about a wedge formation? That sounds exciting. Okay, uh, everybody, stand over here. I want Ready. Alpha to go stand over this way. We've got uh, a bunch of red folks. That's not what I want to do. A bunch of red folks over here are going to be chasing at us and trying to kill us. Well, we are going to go back uh, here. Reporting. Confirmed. That you you you, you that. stay right in there. Okay, let's play. So you hold your ground right here, and they sh they are, should be come running this way. I've played this mission before. I know what's going on. They're going to come charging in here, and we're going to murder them. Engage. Stay behind the rocks and mow them down. That's right. We're the Terrans, expert tacticians, tacticians, something like that. That guy is not feeling the best. Well, we got him. Oh, we got one more guy left. Okay, uh, move on up. It. That guy is a coward. Ready, Go get him. Come on. Copy that. Red. Okay, we got it. I don't know what's happening there. Destroyed all the resilience uh, resistance at Lab M6. Okay, battle report. No wounds taken. Excellent. We saw what enemies we had and what they were using. Good. Okay, back to our ship. 
Oh, Beast of Sunrise. Okay. Dust reporting in. Uh, no, my age may not show it, but I'm senior combat officer on board. Partial success. We routed the enemy and took back the terraform drive, but we realized too late the drive's core was removed. One tribesman who got away must have taken it. We know which direction they went, but there's been a rise in electromagnetic electromagnetic activity in the area. Take some time before we can point to a location. Okay, passage took samples of the enemy bodies. Study their phys physiology. Uh, okay, they are called the Volgar. Can't want to call any. That's not, we're the invaders here. Yeah, we sure are. Uh, Captain, need to speak to you about the crew. Medical guy, Patch. Besides the six of us, seven with Officer Sparks and the crew members you have revived, the rest of the crew remain in cryo sleep. For uh, well, in cryo sleep. Yet, uh, 100 living Terrans are supposed to be on board. Only something has gone wrong, Captain. 20 men and women have died in cryostasis. Cryo tubes have slow decomposition, almost nothing. But I've confirmed it. They died right at the start of the voyage, all at the same time. Mysteries. Right now, only you and I know of this. Clearly, such a death toll could have. It's a disastrous impact on the crew if we let that be known. Panic would be the rest best case scenario. I've already isolated the cryotubes discreetly, of course. We have two options. First is leave them in there. If we are to believe the, uh, the wonders hidden in the world below, we may find a way to reverse what's happened to them. In the meantime, they'll continue to use up energy. Other option is more practical. Rather than hold out some fantasy miracle, we can liquefy the bodies for resources to sustain the ship. Patch, I can't believe you're saying that. I would never do such things. Don't mean to sound cruel, Captain. I could say that we could start using the deaths to help mission honor as the sacrifice. You know what? If they find out, you know what? No. We don't liquefy bodies around here. We only liquefy the bodies of our enemies. Preserve those fallen crew members. I will not speak of this again unless it's needed. Yeah, that's right. Preserve those people. I believe the why of this tragedy is unspoken. The fact alone that 20 people who now lie dead were distributed, distributed in all five rooms of the cryostasis deck. Not to mention spread proportionally across all functional disciplines. There's little to be imagined. They were chosen... Hmm. All for now, Captain. Uh, hey, buddy. Patch. Howdy. Apologize, I'm gonna meet you before our voyage. Okay, yeah. Okay, welcome over. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. No more talking about liquefying people, please. Thief hunt. Interceptor intercepted a radio transmission long ago. Originating from the area in which we've been searching for these members of the so-called Volgar. If the ones who stole our drive core have been struggling to find their way back on foot, it's likely they'll be heading there now. We should send a team to follow the transmission source. If we hurry, we can get it back. Let's go do it. Whoever it is, expect a gunfight. We're flying to fly over there. Send in our people. 120 for us. We're going to lead the same squad with the same same sort of mission here. Um, so we're going to grab... You know what? Reporting. Just get in that. Everyone what just be it? in the same squad. Target priority, the proximity. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Ready, Commander. Yeah. Formation. Let's just go in a, uh, a triangle. And we're going to run up to, like, right over here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go. Can we make it there in time? Yeah, we can make it there. We get behind these rocks, and we can mow down. Start mowing. Engaging. Yeah, you should have engaged a long time ago. I think it says they have more power than us, but we seem to be a lot better at shooting than they are. Maybe we have armor, but yeah, we're much better at this. Spread all resistance at the military base in five. Open for exploration and scavenging. We saw the battle report before. No wounds taken. Yeah, we're great. Okay, so this is a scavenge mission. It's like a clicker game. We're running through here just trying to find things. And by doing this, we are finding this stuff before the storm gets here. Now we got to leave. Um, let's go. You see the storm is sort of moving in. So to quickly scavenge things and try to find junk. Security outposts from the Volgari. We couldn't capture that f those that fled. If the was ever there, it isn't anymore. Outpost is ours now. If I had my people take a look around, their findings are several. The fight would have been a lot harder if we'd arrived a week later than we did. The place was almost still dormant. We found evidence to suggest that the Volgar may have only arrived two a day or two earlier. Uh, order a team to begin preparing the base for use. Workshops and research facilities are highly advanced, so it'll take time to properly understand how it all works. Technology at the post bears a striking resemblance to that which powers our ship. Yep. Volgar is being an ancient race who brought us here. Rule them out. Their tech is different. Could they be the great evil we were warned about in the message of the gift. The gift is the thing that fell on our planet that gave us the uh, ability to fly here. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. All right, it's Captain Spark or uh, Android Sparks. 
Uh, after an emergency landing on this planet, my sensors detected a wave frequency which resembled a distress signal. Yes? Generated by a machine. Expected to vary within a small range. Of, yeah. Okay. Finding patterns. Okay. Wave is differed. Uh huh. Chaotic. Here it again now. Since all has returned, I feel curious. Do we? Do you feel this too? I do. Let's go find it. Uh, so let's take a look at. Before we do that, take a look at our crew. So we can see our people here, and they have. You see, they're gaining experience. They're, this guy's at level two at the moment, and um, he's a soldier, of course. But uh, yeah, soldier. And you can see skills are sort of leveling up over here, sort of XCOM style, I guess. And um, his morale is good. He's in a good mood. Uh, we do need to keep him fed and 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 all of that. Quarters are, are available. She has a food supply. She's in good health. Uh, yeah, she's she's happy, which is good. I think everyone's happy right now. Yeah, everyone's in good shape right now. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's go do this. Investigate that that thing. So let's go there, and let's go. Uh, let's go kill it. We find the strike signals. We kill it. Uh, what is that? I don't know, but I don't want to be anywhere near it. Um, we're still going to stay with our same... Target the, uh, the strong first. And let's go, um... Let's stand our ground. Ready. Like, right in here. Confirm. Oh, it's a flying thing. Of course it is. Yeah, shoot it out of the sky. Engaging. Oh, my. There's another one. Giant flying squid? Stingrays? We got them all. We have some wounded folks. Quick draw, neophyte, and bond are all wounded. Not too, they're not bad though. They're fine. They'll be alright. There's an ancient structure buried in the desert here. The ship's comms array has lit up and is resonating with a core of the buried device. Whoever sent the other side of the gift left us, led us to find this place and gave us the key to wake it. Captain, you'll want to see this. Yes. Oh, it's a jellyfish. Mm hmm. Beauty. Beauty, Clark. Creators spent, spent much time and effort attempting to endow my cybernetic self with my human self's understanding of this concept. Yeah, okay, whatever. I discovered that. Yeah, okay. Source of this. Uh, yes, this uh, site proved to be more, far more fruitful in its yield. Ancient citadel buried beneath the sands. When the exploratory team triggered its activation mechanism, I could feel the awakening. Compelled me to move out to the deck and watch it rise. Okay. Yeah. So, this is our base. That has just risen from the ground. We've claimed the citadel for ourselves and now looms above the clouds. Although many of its buildings remain dormant or broken, we may in time find the means to bring it back to life. We're going to do that. So we got new options here. We have the citadel panel. I've not got this far before. Uh, so I can put a quarters in. Can I, like, throw it in? There we go. Under construction. Excellent. Uh, power looks like it's working fine. Cryogenics is fine. Okay. Um, what do we have over here? Engineering. Let's take a look at... We have lots of scrap. We have lots of machinery. Lots of chemicals. Okay, we can make some guns if we need to. Sure, make a gun. Um, we can also recycle things if we need to. What is this over here? Research. We'll research. Now, we have engineering. We want to go and learn how to make real guns. Okay, so we'll pass some time here. And our next event is in the near future, so it should be happening very soon. Um, we can see we've got a tech set up. Um, oh, we got it already. So I want to, yeah, make me some rifles. Make me, um, make me eight of them. Sure, make those things. Let's crank them out. And, uh, we can equip our people here also. We can come into this squad, uh, into Salsa. Hey, uh, buddy, I'm going to equip you. I can auto-equip you if I want, or we can go into the manual mode and, and throw in a proper gun for him once we actually get a proper gun made. But, uh, for now, we're going to just speed some time along here. And uh, let some guns get made. We have our quarters is now is now complete. Ten capacity there. Um, okay. I think that's good for now. We uh, want 
Uh, oh, hydroponics we can get in there, too. Yeah, throw that in there. Some hydroponics made. We need some more chemicals in order to do this. Okay. Um, over here we have... What's going on? Oh, loadouts. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Um, oh, do you have, it already gave you a rifle. Nice. Slapshot already has a rifle. I'm going to go back into here. Salsa. Take a rifle. There you go, buddy. There you go. Okay. We're looking good now. Um, okay, we'll get out of here. We're going to speed some time along until we get to the next event. My base is being built on. That's our hydroponics, I think, that's we're getting built at the moment. There we go. Hydroponics is now done. We've unlocked science, biotech, and aerospace. Um, yeah, keep engine. That's fine. Keep that how we're doing it. Um, looking good. Uh, give me next event. Engineering Bay research is done. Uh, we got some missions going on right now. Uh, that Engineering Bay is done now. So we can come in here and we can see quarters is done. The hydroponics is working. Let's we go into tech. Start that module to get new research. So let's go into here. Uh, no, no. Into here and construct that module. Right here. Engineering Bay. Okay. Get that thing melt up. Do things, though. Uh, extra resources. Yes. I think tells me you have a new module design on the table, and I'm sure there'll be more to come. If we're going to build everything. We need more resources. Find me some new mission sites, and we'll scavenge the materials for this build. I'm sure if enough time passes, we'll detect some suitable sites. Or, if it just needs to dismantle or existing tech, recycle some resources. But don't think that will be enough this time. Okay. Gotcha. The beast bite back. I apologize for not reporting in sooner, but my work began as soon as I was awoken from cryostasis. There's Scarcely an end in sight. My call sign is Athena, and I'm Senior Research Officer of this Terran company. I now, uh, having a base of operations near the surface, studying this world has become much less taxing. Thus, I dispatched a team to survey the area around our new ground settlements soon after we took control. When a member of my team was out scouting, they witnessed something more than a little worrying, and I have asked Duster's scout to confirm. Sizable Volgari detachment is ready to attack the base. Assess their stores. Appears they've only bought minimum supplies, which means they're planning a quick and brutal strike. Organized defensive team now. Like wild animals, the Volgar mean to reclaim their territory, and they're out for blood. Okay, here they are. We're going to bring in our people. We're going to fly over there. We should be fine. We have our same crew. They've healed by now. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep you guys all in the same... Well, you know what? Let's let's go separate squads. That was exciting when we did it before. I was, it was thrilling. Um, you guys are going to go into a uh, circle. You're going to stay in... Ooh, you're going to go into the wedge. And then we're going to go... Actually, maybe, maybe the V. And I want you guys to stand up. This is the same map as before, isn't it? Um, Ready, Commander. You guys are going to be good fighters. going to go right over here. That. The not Ready. as good fighters are going to go over here. And we have some proper guns this Confirm. time, however. So let's see if that makes a big difference. So here they come. Engaging. You can see we got rifles now. Uh, you guys, Reporting. get up here. Get up here. Wrong button. Ready, Commander. Copy that. Get up here and shoot some things. There you go. That's right. Get out of my house. Screw it, everybody. We got somebody hurt. Salsa has been hurt barely. And we're going to head on back. Siege took a heavier toll on our forces than I would have thought. Those enemies, enemies, they didn't behave like they did before. They didn't retreat. Even when it was clear that they were going to lose, they're more savage now. I had my men look through the remains of the Volcari encampment. The little supplies they had, they were locally procured. Some so fresh they were still wriggling. Wherever their heartland is, it has to be far enough that a supply line would have been un unattainable. Not so far, mm hmm Operate under a different code, but it looks like they've come unhinged. Okay. Okay. Um, so we've got... Uh, how much? Oh, soon. We got some research coming in, and uh, once we get that thing built, we'll be able to, to move on more here. Uh, let's see. Which is working on the engineering bay module, which is working on it. Um, as for my people, I guess we could maybe wake some more people up if we wanted to. A lot of dead folks in here. Uh, but we can bring more folks in. We can, we can afford 
10 people now because we have the the uh, the bay. So why don't we bring in like a doctor? We'll bring Lucky in. Uh, let's bring Wedge. And we can handle two more. No, eight more. We can, hire, we can bring all these people in. Sure. Bring them all on. Wake up. Yeah, get all these people in here. Uh, we have enough rifles for everybody who's made eight of those things. So, uh, yeah, you guys get in there and do your things. And um, research is moving along. The labs are slowly moving along. Put that, put that science at a higher priority. Okay. Anything else we need to do before we, we continue on more here? Uh, did I ever show the map here? So we've got the lab, which we control, and we have our citadel, which is the base of the thing that's flying above. Um... Preparing to counterattack. Yeah, we already dealt with that, but yeah, we know that's happening. So let's, um, uh, I suppose we can get some different loadouts if we want more people. But I think we're fine. So let's just crank up the speed and see if anything, what, what happens next. We're about to call it a day here, though. So see anything? Oh, we got one here, nesting. Alright, uh, most of the ground. I split our small pool of resources and instructed them to keep an eye out for what we need to return home to Terra. It's also been less than ideal. It seems we won't find a hyperspace catalyst so easily. Reasonable working conditions, which consists of longer breaks and more supplies during this exploratory phase. They were so desperate that after I denied them, they were threatening to bring the matter directly to you. I failed to realize these are extraordinary circumstances. Uh, yes, get rest and all that. Yeah, yeah. What are your orders, Captain? Um, do we give them more supplies? And, uh, and uh, I mean, research team, that's going to be an important crew. These guys need their time to sleep so they can be lazy bums. Okay, fine. Morale boost. Look, I'm such a good leader. You're welcome, everybody. These findings have slowed down to a trickle at the cost of more resources than than any other. Uh, yeah, well. It was meant to improve the spirits of the crew. You have succeeded. You can bask in the smiles and thank yous. You, excuse me, I have worked... Oh, I'm sorry, Athena. A mystical artifact from the... See, look, we found things. Ancient civilization. It, it, inner workings uh, go beyond our current understanding. But preliminary tests have demonstrated the artifact's ability to detect individual storm bodies, along with, among other readings, their magnitude and trajectory. Okay. It was important. Always stand ajar. I hear it again. Wave frequency has a different point of origin now. However, I confirm that this is the same signal which led us to their signal citadel. Moderate wildlife activity. Um, yeah, let's go do this real quick. 188, 188 for the threat. That's a lot worse than we had before. Do we want to adjust our squad any? Does anybody want to sit out? Want to throw anybody else in here? Like, maybe Wizard needs to go in, and we can take out... Oh, Wizard's already in there. Never mind. Wizard, you stay in there. No, we're fine. We're, we're good. We're good. Um, yeah, we don't have any creatures or drones. Yeah, go for it. I'm all for killing some aliens. We're at 150 now, because we're getting good. Alright, so we're going to go find a spot. Oh, these are just bugs. Ah, uh, we can handle bugs. Ready. I want you guys to go stand your ground right Reporting. here. Ready, and I want Commander. you to come stand your ground right over Confirm. here. Get in there and mow them down. Anybody runs, we shoot them in the back. There you go. There you go. Hang in there, slap shot. Just a few bugs. Uh, slap shot? Slap shot? <laughs> How you feeling? Oh, she's fine. She's fine. She's got gnawed on a little bit. Oh, one of these again. Okay. Let's explore. Let's find some junk. Come on. Give me some, give me some good stuff. Okay. All kinds of good stuff. Scrap, machinery, tools, electronics. Excellent. Storm is coming in. Let's uh, pick this stuff up and get out. And back to base. We were too late. The signal had ceased before our team reached our destination. Of course it did. Uh, I discovered the ruins of an ancient factory. It appears to have been used in the manufacture of airships before it was abandoned. None were left for us to salvage. No sign of hyperspace catalyst either. Among our finds were some blueprints and a collection of spare parts in the near per perfect condition. Hammer and Athena have surmised from this hall that we may be able to upgrade our ship engines. Take some time. But, uh, travel to sites previously out of reach in order to product, procure more resources. Okay. Should we obtain the hyperspace catalyst in your future? Excellent. 
Good. Okay, we're gonna call this a day here. So thanks again for watching. Again, this is Tempest Citadel. It's set to come out on the 17th of April. And I'll have a link below, of course. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.